Hi, I'm David and welcome to Leisurebit. And today we're going to take a look at a couple of mobile um, Wi-Fi devices or MiFi. Um, the first one is this small 4G MiFi router and the second one is this uh, 5G CPE router. I'm going to have a look and see how they perform in the camper van. <laughs> So we'll start by having a look at the main setup I have in my Eldis CV20 camper van. Let's take a look. What I have here is, I have a splitter which connects up to the aerial amplifier into here. And then within this black box is a USB 12 volts to USB converter that pops out at the bottom here and the power connects in there and I put a little switch on the top so you can switch it on and off so you can see there then there's two aerial inputs that you can see which go up to the roof aerial there that just feeds along connects into there and they just plug in at the bottom here just underneath there look there's the USB connection plugged in for the power and that's all there is to it. So within the box, there's just a 12 volt to micro USB converter and then the tails that just literally come through. And I've just stuck that on with magnets. You'll probably see there. So it just clips on there. And this is just stuck on with Velcro on the back of the box just in case I want to move it or change router later. So first of all, I'm going to do a test with the 5G CPE router. This is the uh, Model 2. Um, it's actually um, model number H122373 and it's by Huawei. And uh, this particular one we're just testing with a 3 SIM in it. Um, and what we're going to do now is do a couple of tests. The first one is just run it on the table in front of me inside the van but at window height. Then we're going to pop it up on the roof um, just through the skylight, just connect the power to it. Worth noting on uh, these routers, if they run on 12 volts but it needs to be a stabilised power supply, I certainly would recommend having a stabilised power supply. So if you want to run those off the van battery, just need a 12 volt stabiliser for those. The second one we're then going to look at is the uh, Huawei, another Huawei one. So we're comparing like for like brand wise. And this one is the E5785. And oh, 5785LH. 22c is this particular model um, but basically um, it's a 4g router a lot more compact uh, than the other one and just quickly show you there how i've installed it in the cupboard and it connects up via the port on the bottom of the device if i can get the cover off um, there's a couple of connections there to connect to an external antenna unfortunately on this model, there isn't an external antenna port. Um, it's actually got three ethernet ports and a power port, but no antenna port, because it's the Pro 2 model. Um, it's supposed to be uh, a lot faster, and inside there's uh, actually eight different aerials for 4G and 5G. But uh, we'll have a look and see how it performs anyway. So let's start with the, um, on the 3 network, the 5G mobile Wi-Fi, which is the uh, Pro 2. So let's take a look. So first of all, when we try it on the desktop, we are getting 199, it's connected to 5G on 3, uh, 199 megabits per second download and 1.47 megabits a second upload. So pretty decent for a download speed, uh, faster than most uh, home bar bands. 
um, but for upload pretty rubbish at 1.47 so fine for just pottering on but not really any good if you want to upload a video or upload anything and don't forget that was with it on the table now we're going to put it up on the uh, roof of the van and now we are getting 496 megabits per second and the uploads increased to 9.45 megabits a second so still not phenomenal but download speed brilliant upload speed okay starting to move in the right direction so the area i'm in as well just for reference uh, is right in the middle of cells and a little bit rural so the signals aren't the strongest here so you would get I would expect much better results if you're using it closer to a 5G or 4G um, transmitter aerial but that gives you uh, an indication of that and again that was on the 3 network. So now let's move over to the small router and first of all let's repeat the same test and let's let's run it on the table and for that one we are getting 8.78 download megabits per second and 4.88 upload so ratio of upload to download much better than with the um, pro router the larger one that we've just tried so uh, better on that one but but still quite slow no, let's let's put it on the roof next so when we put it on the roof um, the speed goes up to 13.8 megabits per second download and 2.55 upload um, so the uploads come down very slightly but the download has gone up so let's now have a look at it with connected to the external antenna as you can see how I've connected it up there I've basically got that metal box and in that metal box there's two tails that basically convert from SMA to I think it's TS9 but just double check the connection types on that one which fit then into the antenna port at the bottom of this little router and then connect on up via the SMA connectors up to the um, aerial on the roof and there's a quick shot of the aerial on the roof just to give you a view on that one so when we've switched to that we're getting a download speed of 12.6 megabits per second but the upload speed's gone up considerably to 31.4 megabits per second now that surprises me because you normally get a much bigger download to upload ratio but that would be perfect if you wanted to upload some content to youtube for example or send a lengthy email or attach a big attachment that kind of thing so I would find that uh, much more useful than the 5G um, router and that, that's on 4G and again we're comparing there two different networks two different devices so but uh, just in terms of positioning it shows the difference you get I'm really pleased I got the external antenna um, slightly disappointed with the um, 5G CPU router, the white one here, um, just for the fact that um, it doesn't have an external antenna port, uh, which would have been really handy to plug in there, because that would have been an interesting test to see how that did, because I opted for the 5G aerial on the roof, um, just for future proofing. But at some point in time, I'll probably upgrade from this router, which is my kind of solid and steady router um, to a 5G router but at the moment the price point beyond these CPU ones uh, is it doesn't really justify the investment for me so my setup essentially is one of these um, which is your regular kind of uh, MiFi and then also one of these which I will make a little waterproof case um, no doubt it'll probably be a plastic bag and then just bob that out the roof light uh, if ever I'm in an area with good 5G reception there because I think that that's one way where you get to nearly as fast if not faster than uh, a lot of home broadband speeds so that's the quick review through of MiFi devices and 
connected camper vans and motorhomes. I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. You take care. Bye.